I finally put something on these so the chickens stop digging them up. I put three cinder blocks around the base of these newly planted trees. I meant to show this in my previous video. I just wanted to give people ideas of how to stop chickens in their tracks. The newly planted plinia there, we had to stop the chickens. I got another one here, same exact deal. A triple cinder block message of fortification to any type of poultry that thinks they can disrupt this planting by golly would you say I think I've got that lock stock and barrel howly mark howly to you howly in Florida, we don't say howdy, we say howly. The W is pronounced like an L in my, in my area. So howly to you, eh, well. In Minnesota, Arizona, we say it that way all the time. <laughs> That's nice. This chicken, he's very cool. I want to sit down with him. Here comes Rex, he's gonna disrupt. He's charging. Rex is just running laps. I, I'm going to plant some Eugenia seeds here in a second, but I've got to find my, um, I've got to find my dolly so I can wheel back all this uh, peat moss to the greenhouse. I'm not looking forward to it, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to plant these seeds on this video. I've promised the world and I want to make good. I'm going to get up and do it. I say, I tell you right now, I'm going to do it one of these minutes just give me one second this is great i'm sitting on a cinder block this chicken i don't like to play favorites but this is stay puff and he is just a gentleman I, he somehow has won me over he's nice he's got a nice little crew he's gorgeous i have a raza grande supposedly a little hardier interesting mark i never heard of that the one that i have is uh <clears throat> let's go let's take care of this First, let's find us. Oh, I want to show this too. This is another planting I recently did where the chickens just tore it up at the base. Look what I did. <laughs> look at this, Mark. Would you take a look at that? I put cinder block all around it with a bunch of mulch, but I got it up on a mound here and it's, it's cindered all the way around to stop the beasts from their devilish ways. But that's a beautiful tree. We think it could be a hybrid of a Grimmel and a Sabra, but I can't prove that yet. We're waiting, waiting on papers to come out. This one is your anomaly, another anomaly. I like that planting right there. I tucked it in. Okay, I'm gonna go get to planting these seeds. I got a big crowd today, Mark, it's just, just you. Everybody else has got a job, up oh, two people. So, oh, it says one. I like that. I like it when there's just one. It's more personal. I feel like I really reach out to my students when there's just one. Okay, so I've got my dolly that I've been looking for. We're gonna go ahead and make use of this 25 gallon pot. We're gonna set it on the dolly. And then we're gonna put a shovel into the pot. So we're gonna use that later. Who needs a wheelbarrow when you got a tree dolly? That's right. There's block party with his ladies. He commingles. He stays with these other types of chickens. He's got a whole crew of girls that like him that are not his same his, his same variety. Those are a seal chickens and they hang out with him. They love him. I'm gonna have to make him a coop to put him off with some of them girls because they love him and he loves them too. What up, Abel? Block party likes these girls, man. These other girls. He don't even stay with his own kind. He stays with the, he only dates the seals. Once you go a seal, you never go back. He started going a seal on us, y'all. You say he's gonna start, he's gonna start dating ducks next. I gotta get some ducks and see if he's like a dog. I only date ducks now. Dog. 
I only date ducks, dog. <laughs> Lol, I have loved seeing chickens out. Uh, thanks, Neville. Good to hear from you. I saw your Christmas pictures that look wonderful. Merry Christmas. But Chris, the way they celebrate Christmas anymore is turn pagan, y'all. I'm here to warn you. It's a pagan. It definitely wants only exotic females. Yo, let's let's get this straight real quick. I, I just educated myself and I had someone try to bring it up on me. So the 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 the, the, the that's a pagan thing. Now, I know you can go out there and worship whoever, you know, but I saw some special on it where uh, it didn't start off. They didn't they didn't designate a day that Jesus was born. That's a debatable subject. I've heard people say that they wouldn't have been tending to the sheep at that time of year, which is why he was maybe born in September around the 29th. I don't know. See, people don't know. It doesn't say. But I think it's funny that people want to celebrate. I hope that chicken's all right. She's always staying by herself. Okay, let's, talk, let's take a... I think that's all for the theological discussion of the day. This is... Uh, no, I've never tried to grow that. Never tried to grow a posh tay. That's a uh, trunk of flora. And it looks real ratty this time of year. But it's going to come out of it. I tell you. This looks like a dead piece here. Look. Big old dead branch. Uh, see that big old dead branch. Yeah. I got some Arasa boys. Yeah. It makes you wonder why that branch died back like that. I tell you what. You know what? If I dug this tree up and put it back in a pot, I know it would do better. All I have to do is dig it up and put it back in a pot. I might do it. I'm just sick of looking at it like this all the time. It just doesn't like the soil. It would do better in a pot, that particular tree. I might dig it up. Have you ever tried to grow yaya? Ya? No? That sounds cool though, I like that. I'm looking for some yaya ya myself. <laughs> I never heard of that. Amen, amen the hole it's in. I don't know if that'll work. I just feel like if I dug it up, it would do better. I might just dig it up and replace it with something. No, I never heard of that. I had never heard of that. It's the hard part, guys. Gonna need your support for this one over and the other. I gotta make a ramp for that. I thought they did, they did well in the ground. I've got one that's doing a lot better in the ground. I'm losing some peat moss, y'all. I'm being sloppy today. There's one in the ground over there that looks pretty good. See that that one? That trunk of floor right there? That one does all right. But the other one's always been beat up. Air day ride. There's something over here. What is this? Little birds. I see little birds that are creeping. A bunch of little birds. Yeah, I got Artocarpus in the ground, a big one. This is a sugar canes. There's Rex. He just charged across that bridge. What was the name of that another plant that you said tastes like guanabana and coconut or pineapple? Shit, I don't remember that. You keep streaming live while I'm in class. What up, Ray? What up, Ray? It's Christmas, man. We stream all the time. I know. I haven't been streaming a lot lately. This is some sugar cane I got right here. You know what, man? When I planted this, it was black. I thought this was a black a black cane. But it, I guess it's what... I know it was... I, plant, I took it because it was the black kind, and it turned green. I think that's ready to cut down, don't you? You know what? I don't like sugar cane anymore. Let me tell you a story, really quick let me tell you a story i used to go i'm not going to say where it was a place around here and get sugar cane juice they had this press where they put it through you put the the canes through and you walk around in a circle and the juice comes out well 
one day I went there and I, I brought my own cane and I squeezed it through their press and I drank a cup of it. Yeah, dog, it wasn't the Burger King. Somebody knows the story already. Somebody already knows the story. They're like, Burger King? <laughs> Damn, somebody already knows my little stupid rant. Yo, this is my theory. I think they used some kind of industrial lubricant on it and I almost died as a result. It was bad. Get back in there. My chickens are running out of the greenhouse. She's trying to bust loose. Get in there. I got sick anytime. It wasn't Burger King. It was the it was the industrial lubricants they put on the on that machine. It was something on the machine. Go inside. Go inside. I got too much going on. Chicken inside. Rex, you come in too. What? Tropical fun. Yeah, I'm telling you. There was like WD-40 that they put on it. Come on, Rex, come inside. And it was, uh, I, 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 after I drank the, the juice, the sugar cane, the cane juice, it was like um, I started blacking out. It was unlike any food poisoning I've ever had, where the result was me just blacking out and feeling like all I could do was crawl into fetal position. And it happened about 10, 15 minutes after I had the cane juice. I started blacking out. I tried to walk to the fridge to get some water. I blacked out and fell out. And, I, and then the only thing that could make me feel any better was to vomit. I vomited violently all over everything. And that's all I could do. I felt like I was going to die. I was looking to call the hospital. That's been like three, two or three years since it happened. Florida eggnog. <laughs> All right, <laughs> we're gonna try to mount you on the ceiling again. Let's see how this works. I always look real white when this happens. Does that work? Can I balance it? I don't know if I can read the comments. Give me one second here. One second, just one second. I got to de-robe, take my jacket off, and then I got all the utensils I need. I'm going to take some of this soil and dump it in here. Oh, 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 oh. I probably don't need to mix it all, but I will. I'm just going to mix it all. taking me a lot longer to get it out of the bag, but I will be able to save this bag and use it for a trash pickup. See, I got a nice trash bag there now. Put that over there. And I got some perlite, look at that. Lighten it up with some perlite. Mmm. Okay. Chickens like to eat perlite and it won't hurt them. Remember that, y'all. Let's break up these big chunks. What was that question I could read now? Oh, don't breathe it in. I can still read them. Oh, yeah. I hope the, the feed doesn't cut out. That pump shouldn't be on. I got a leak somewhere. Must be on the other side of the house. What was it? It's like witch's cauldron, yeah. Witch's brew. Yes, of course. So I can balance this on there like that. That works good. Honestly, I could start planting in it right now, but I want to mix it up a little bit more. There's some big chunks in here. It doesn't need to be mixed really, really well, but I mix it as well as I can. You can plant in straight peat moss, at least what I'm planting. And let's get an old tray. Tray. And break it up as you put it in. 
it's really just straight peat moss at this point. It's really not mixed really well, but I, I, I really don't care. It's not gonna matter. As long as the peat moss is broken up, you're good. Doesn't need a lot of, um, doesn't need a lot. You know, I remember one of my old friends telling me for the longest time, he used to grow Jabuti Cabos in straight peat moss, nothing else. And they did really well. And I never knew how serious to take that remark because it's true. I mean, you can put them in straight peat moss, a lot of these species, and they do quite well. So it's just really simple. It's available. It smells good. Tastes good. Cats can eat it. And that's what I've been using in my garden. There's a lot of this. Stuff. I don't. I mean, I don't buy a ton of it, but I get it. Part of every. I think every complete meal starts with a mouthful of peat. Okay. Now I got all my seeds together in the same bag. I have fine tubers and fibers and peat. Sounds like a frog getting eaten. I gotta find something to dump these out on so I can sort them out. This bag will, oh no, I got something better. I got an old, a dish, a nice dish. So now I can sort the seeds out because I just mixed them together. These are some seeds that I just cleaned in the washing machine. You got reds. I just cleaned them. They're probably starting to germinate some of them, but I cleaned them in the washing machine. So what I'm going to do is just start planting them. If they look similar, I'm going to plant them next to each other. I see some of these on this side. There's a Eugenia. There's a Eugenia. There's a Eugenia. I know there's more. You know what? I better pull these over here because those are think Eugenias. And that is a Garcinia. Another Garcinia. That felt like a Jabba de Caba there. And then when you get lazy with the Jabba's, you can just do real quick. A couple per tray or whatever, you know? Throw them in there, man. I'll put one or two in the cell sometimes if I'm in a rush. But today we're not in a real rush. I think one of these is a fox. Yeah. Okay, make sure there's no more. That's a Garcinia. Look at me mixing them up. That's how you get confused. This is another Eugenia seed in here, right here. Okay. Here's another one. I got plenty of these Eugenias. I'm excited about the uh, the Garcinia, the Eugenia one. The wait, the Eugenia stipitata. Yeah, that's the one. Uh huh. Yeah. All right. That tray's planted out just about. We'll put one more in here. Good luck. All right. So we got to put that on top of something. All right. That's planted out. We did it. We did it. We made history right there, everybody. And then this is what we're left with. I got to plant all these. Let's make sure there's nothing funky. I see some more Eugenia seeds in here. Let me pick them out. Those look like them. I know there's going to be some strays. Yeah, these are starting to germinate. I don't know if you can see that. Starting to germinate. I just, these haven't even been cleaned for two weeks, I think. Trade secrets right here.
chickens going crazy. There's another one. We did it. I'm getting to the end of my rope here. I'm almost out of trays. Look at this. I'm gonna have an experimentation. I've got this tray here, but it makes these little tiny. It's this little tiny. I don't like to grow in these, but it's all I got. So I'm gonna grow in it. You know, doesn't that sound fun? Just do it. Forget it. Just do it. Figure it out later. Put them in some soil and call it a day. Go inside, watch something on TV, stay at home. Don't visit your family this Christmas. And wear a full frickin' hazmat suit in the shower. And brush your teeth with oil. What are you doing? Don't knock over my trays, dummy. You dumb, you big dummy. That was my holiday advice. I lost a viewer on that. Okay, this is what's left for the seeds. These are some red Jabuticaba seeds that I cleaned. And we're planting them in these little cells. Uh, I guess I should do one per cell. There's no up or down, you just plant them and it figures it out itself. Which is the fun part. What if these are worth five dollars each when they come up? What if you get one that's variegated? What's gonna happen then? This is like playing scratch off, except you don't gotta stand in line and piss someone off in front of you who's buying gas. Right? Think about it. This is like playing a damn scratch off. Look how many tickets I got. And tell you what, it's addicting. You keep scratching and scratching. You're gonna win. You're gonna get a variegated gold ticket with three bells in a row. You take it in to get cashed. Buddy, I know one of these is a variegated seed. It's gonna it's gonna take me a while. You gotta keep Playing scratch off. You gotta spend a lot of money. You gotta hold a lot of people up in line that are trying to get food and gas and have a place to go. You gotta be that person. And I don't mind it. That's part of the game, buddy. Yeah, I like the ones that are the five dollar payout. You know what I mean? The five dollar ones. You got any of them left? Has that paid out yet? I want three of the gold nuggets. Two of the cash nows, the golden diamonds. Yeah. And I'm gonna go scratch them with my fingers and eat tacos because that lead paint that they use and tastes good on your fingers when you eat Taco Bell afterwards. I'll tell you. You catch me in line. Stand in the line. All right, see, now I'm getting lazy, and I don't want to keep planting them in these cell packs. It's too much work, man. It's a lot of work. So I'm going to go grab a three-gallon and plant the rest all in a three-gallon pot. Make sure they're firmly pressed in, and then we're going to put another layer on top of soil. These are some red Jabuticaba seeds that are all going to come up real fast. Okay? A little bit of soil on top. We're going to put that in the oven at about 95 degrees for three months but we should get some germination in only a couple weeks okay these are the seeds that i have left we're gonna go ahead and bake them up in a three gallon pot let me go get a three gallon maybe a two and a half
thing, there's no such thing as Santa. But that's not what me and Grandpa believe. There you go. That's when you don't have time to, to putz around. And then I like to push down around the edges and give them a place to fall around the edges. Almost like a muffin kind of, you know? And then sparkle them around, put a little more on top. And then that's, 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 that, that's, that's the day. We did it. We made it through. You all made it through the hardest part of it all. And then now I can take it like this. Oh gosh, I got more seeds to plant there. These are more seeds that I got up in here. Let's see what these are. Some old Garcinias, it looks. Yeah, there's something about the connectivity right here is no good. But um, I got some more seeds I got to plant right here. There they are. A bunch of them there. And I've got some more of these uh, stipitatas. More stipitatas here. I might just plant these in cell packs. Is there seed coming, germinating, one of them? Was that a black sapote, maybe? Scratch off, baby. These weren't cleaned. Two. Just trying to separate any doubles. There's a double there. I think we're good. We're all separated out. Shut up, Rex. I think I've got one more cell pack right there. There it is. All right. I use these things until they're asked out completely. Gee, I don't even know why I added perlite to it at all. I don't I barely see it. You got to really water these a lot too to get them to finally get wet <laughs> if you don't i don't like to wet my mix before i plant and it's going to make it really hydrophobic for a minute but you just water the pee out of them or you put them in a in a dish all right <sighs> oh This is high tech. This is high tech. Highly technical. Did I plant with two in the same hole? I always do that. That's the thing, I can't remember what I've planted or what I haven't. I should follow some kind of pattern, but I don't like to. I think I double plant just about everything. That one been planted, we'll double plant it, it's fine. Yeah, and then I got some of these black sapotes. I'm gonna throw them in the corners there. No one cares about the black sapotes. They're strong. They can take up a cell that's 
got a hole in it. Because some of these are busted up so bad. Looking good. There's another. Now, if you get 85% germination on that, what's that worth, I wonder? What's the retail value, or the wholesale value, I should say, of that? And then am I going to drop it or not? Am I going to... That's the best, is when you got about 200, 300 seeds planted up, and you're walking back to put them somewhere safe, and you drop them all. That is what it's all about. Live for those moments, y'all. Live for them. Really do. Really do. So... We just wanted to share this experience with you. This is just wonderful. Just wonderful. And then I'll water them sometime in the next couple of days. I usually let them sit there for like three or four days before I finally water them. Thanks, Adam. Nice video. You're welcome, Rob. Now, I still have stuff to plant, I think, but it's not getting planted today. So this is what I have to plant still. So what I'm gonna do as a safety precaution is take everything down and wrestle it down in this corner and just cover it with a little soil and pray that a rat doesn't come eat it tonight. Just like that. I might get lazy and just plant it like that. All right, I got a mess in here, but it's fine. Let's take a look at some trees in here. This is a uh, red Jabuti Cabos. Look at it's got fruit on it. Yes, it does. Even in the winter. This is when the snowmen are being built in other states. Kids got snowmen, but I got a Jabo man. Look at that. That's a fruit you can eat. Right off the tree. Just like that. Mmm, they taste good. This time of year, there's something about it. When there's not a lot of fruit on the trees, for some reason they start to taste better because you want them. When you got 500, it's like, you're sick of them. Let's see if your chicken eats it. Hey, chicken. Yeah, she's being picky. She wants the ones with fruit in it. She won't eat it like that. She's eating off my feet. That's what that shirt pocket is good for. I'm telling you, buddy. She eats it like a goat. She doesn't eat it. I got to pick them up and take them back to the house. Oh, I got this new basket I've been transporting them in. Why are you yawning like that? What'd you eat? It's on your face. She just wiggled her little butt. I forgot. This is what I've been transporting my chickens in. I want you to get in that blue basket like I taught you. Come here, boy. Come 
first you, because you're the easy one. Cheers from Poland. She ate something oh. weird. Now she's doing that, like her, like her throat hurts. Stay. Stay. She's acting like her throat hurts her. It's about to bloom again. The yellow Java de Cava, it's already bloomed once really heavy. Hello from Poland. That's cool to think we got people in Poland that's being entertained right now by chicken carrying. There's some fruit trees in the greenhouse. We got dogs. What are you itching? This is an easy way to transport them though. Bananas did turn yellow. <whistles> Luckily, my mower is messed up right now because if it, now it stopped growing and my mower got messed up. So I'm lucky in that respect that it's right now. It's the perfect time of year to have mower trouble because it's easy to get them worked on and there's not a lot of grass to be cut. This hasn't been cut for over a month and it really doesn't grow all that much this time of year. I just get, you know, it's, it's as manageable like this. It ain't gonna grow until spring. They've been crapping on me when I carry them, so I've been carrying them in this here. <laughs> There's the black sapote tree that we got the seeds from. That came from Toppy's house. I got Fred protected so they can't mess with them. Double caged. Back Tristatosa looking good in the sun. And then here we are back home, ready to dismount. There you go. Go on out. Dismount, I tell you. They're jumping out of trees. They're up there in the tree. Gotta get her some water. Oh, he just jumped. They're up there within a seal. They were coming marching down. I'd say they're a good 20 feet up, maybe. Got some nice fresh rainwater. Get the hell. Like the jungle book. Yeah, right. There's some good rainwater here I've been hitting over. I head up my gut my hit my gutter up so it collects the rainwater. But I, I like detach this bottom part from my gutter. And now I get that dank rain water, y'all. And this old porcelain, it's a porcelain vessel. It's like made out of like, you know, it's like like a porcelain, I believe. And it's even got a crack in it and it still holds the water. Which I find interesting. It's cracked, but yet still water, waterproof, watertight, whatever you call it. <laughs> Something about the winter time makes these chickens so hungry. That's Peckerneck. Remember Peckerneck? Something about the winter time makes them hungry, man. They get so hungry. Get back. How did you get in there? She wasn't supposed to be in there. Who else is in there? You ain't supposed to be in there neither. Get out of there. There you go. 
They're thirsty. Whoa, they're falling out of the sky. <laughs> the gang is hungry. They're hungry. It's a good time of day. Pretty time of day. Everybody's waiting for their paycheck. It's raining chickens. <laughs> I gotta clean this pile of plastic. <laughs> I'm gonna move these soon. We were doing some repotting over here. Oh, I got these trees over here that I got to move too. These are like nice trees that I put over here. I got to figure that out. The chickens keep knocking them over. I, I forgot I even had these right here. Some nice trees. Yeah, they keep knocking them. Yeah. We did most of it. Merry Christmas. Thank you for watching. Let's get a couple cockadoodle doos out before we go. Let's hear a couple good ones. She gonna do it? Cockadoodle doo. <laughs> Peace out. Let's see if he does one. You got one for us? No pecking him through the thing. He got one in on him through the through the wire. Quit messing with him. Mary. He jinxed me. That was Tony, I think. Nope, that was chicken. <laughs> they all want to fight Fred through the, the, the cage. That was the one I was waiting for. <laughs>